Okay, so we're going to do float height here. So there's some confusion on what we're actually trying to set. Now, what we're trying to do is set the relationship of this distance to this distance, just like we looked at in class on the board, okay? So one thing that you'll notice here, since this is a downdraft carburetor, is the angle of the, the locating tab, or not locating the tab, the ears for the float pin itself, and the float typically make a 90-degree bend. Do you okay. see that? Yes. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm making sure that the float is just touching the pin, just touching it. You see how it bounces a little bit? Yes. If I were to tip this, that'll allow the pin to kind of float or suck down, okay? So we're going to do this one more time. We're going to look at that. Then what we have is we have a specification here of 7 millimeters, and what we're trying to do is make sure that that oh. float in the distance of this, and we're off a little bit right now, so what we're going to do is we're going to bend this metal tab up which will lower the float so follow me back to the bench here Okay. so I'm gonna take and also I want to lift the float up so that I don't hurt or damage the float pin and I'm going to just slightly bend that now I'm gonna go back and recheck my work so we go back up here and I'm going to go, and I went way too far. You see how I'm actually below the distance now? Yes. Okay. So I've got to go the opposite now. Now I have to lift this up, and I'm going to try it. Sometimes this takes two or three times to get that float height set right where we want. And see how I'm right at the 7 millimeters now? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now I want to check the other side as well. Because what can happen is these floats can actually twist on there. Okay, so that's how you set float height on this carburetor. Okay.